Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the designer of Digital One Crystal Screen Paint and Digital 4K Crystal Onyx. All right, so um, I did a couple of video demonstrations on showing people how to take an everyday projector and a $3 to $2 mirror, depending on how much it costs in your area, and turn your everyday projector into a short throw projector just by using the uh, short throw uh, mirror trick. All right, so Right here I have my NEC, it's about a 3000 lumen projector. Mind you, I've, I've done video demonstrations using the QME2, which is a 300 lumen projector. I will be posting that link at the bottom. And also two behind me, what we're gonna be projecting this on, will be the D5K screen paint, which is available now on uh, at my website. I'll leave a, um, I'll leave a, uh, sorry about that, I'll leave a, um, a link at the bottom, we can go to the website if you decide you want more information or you want to purchase it. It's a, a full kit, uh, and just to let you know that um, it does come with free worldwide shipping, so no matter where on the globe you lay your head, we can ship it to you. Alright, so let's get back to this demonstration on how to do the uh, mirror trick. Now, in a few of the demonstrations, I never showed you guys step by step how to do it. One of the things I do want to point out to you that when you do this trick, you have to reverse the position of your projector. So uh, when you hit the mirror, it's going to come up in reverse. Everything's going to come up in mirror mode. So you have to go into your project projector positioning or um, desktop um, rear. Mine's different. Mine's desktop settings or whatever it is. But you have to go and change that. One of the things I need to point out to you so you don't go through a bit of a nightmare is that do not point when you're doing the uh, positioning change uh, do not have it pointed at the mirror have it pointed at the wall then turn around and hit the mirror and everything should come into um, normal um, viewing uh, when you hit the wall um, from the mirror sorry let me say that again so you guys don't get mixed up there so when you're basically adjusting adjusting the positioning of your um, your screen as in from front to rear what you want to do is you want to make sure that the projector is facing your wall when you do this. When you already switched it to rear, then you turn it around, you hit the mirror. When it hits the mirror and hits the wall, it's going to come up in a normal view. All right, so just want to make that sure so you guys, you know, don't get mad or hit a dislike because something came out wrong. All right, now, so let me turn my projector on. All right, so I'm take a bit of power up here. I just recently had it on a few minutes ago. You know, I've had customers, or some people ask me, you too, like, all right, so if I use this, am I gonna lose lumens? Or is gonna, I'm gonna lose color. Uh, the contrast is gonna look crappy. No, you're not, trust me, you're, you're not. And on top of that, I'm using an enhancement paint, the D5K, it's designed to enhance the color. So uh, what you lose, it pretty much makes up for. You're not going to lose a lot, I'm just saying. All right. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to turn around to the, over here so you guys can see the screen. All right, so there's my screen. And as you can see, the keystone looks a little crazy. Um, just to let you know, I've already done this basically with positioning um, my, uh, my view from front to rear. So I'm going to go into my menu. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So I'm going to go into my menu. Let me scroll up here for a minute so you guys can actually zoom in. You guys can see it. This, all right. And what you want to do is you want to go into where it says setup. All right. So we're going to scroll down to setup. All right. So on setup, you're going to have keystone. Now, before you hit keystone, let me go over real quick and show you this. This is what you're going to look for when you go over to. Um, when you go over to uh, do your projectors, uh, actually the positioning. Now you see where it says desktop rear, this is where I have mine set up at. You scroll down, you hit over, and there's the option. Now your projector is gonna be set up to front. What you wanna do is you wanna switch it over to rear. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that the projector is facing the wall first. All right, now we come out of this option. All right, we hit it the second time again. We're going to scroll over. Sorry about that, wrong button. All right, I'm going to scroll over and oh, there we go. I'm doing this without looking at the projector because I'm looking at the screen. All right, and you're going to see keystone. Some of you guys are going to have automatic keystone. Turn it off. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down, you go to keystone, 
and you're going to adjust it. So let me zoom out real quick so you can see me adjust this. Okay, so there we go. All right, perfect. All right, let me go back up. All right, now also to to explain to you about the uh, mirror. Let me go over here for a minute. All right, so when you do the mirror trick, what you want to do is you want to you, the farther you angle angle your mirror out, the bigger the screen is going to become, and it's going to give you this really wedge uh, keystone kind of screen, and that's why you're going to adjust it. All right, so it's really easy to do. It's a very easy trick. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the laptop, and we're going to. Um, Start the demonstration. We remove that out of the way. You don't want to see that. And we'll start this. All right. So, I'm going to the camera real quick. All right. Not in front of the camera, sorry, in front of the screen. And you can see, you don't lose any quality. You're not losing any picture quality at all. So, let's climb upstairs real quick. Hopefully, I don't trip and break my neck doing this. I'm going to show you from a top view. back down contrast levels are beautiful there's my little mirror over there So, just showing you so you guys can see, yeah, if you do this little trick, you really don't have to go out and spend all the money for a short throw projector. Um, you don't have to basically spend the money for an expensive lens. None of that. It's just a two, three dollar mirror. That's it. It's an easy, simple trick. A few adjustments in your um, projector, and that's it. And you're done. Well, you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. Just to let you know, the D5K is available on our website. Um, I'll put a link at the bottom. Also links at the bottom of me doing this on a lower projector, which is the QM2 at 300 lumens. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hey, if you like the video, you like the demonstration, it was able to help you out, you know what I mean? It'd be kind, hit the like button. Thank you all for watching.